హలో గుడ్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ రాజశేఖర్ సాయి కుమార్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఆన్లైన్ గాయస్ కెన్ యూ హియర్ మీ ఎస్ ప్లీజ్ ప్రొవైడ్ యువర్ మెయిల్ ఐడీస్ and uh, phone numbers and the chat box please your mail id and phone numbers and the chat box so we'll start today so this was the first demo so we are going to be cover in first demo and these are all the topics what is data and data formats and data storages structured data presence in database on premises and cloud data story how can we in what are the areas and there what are the areas then we can store our structured data and it databases in what areas then we can configure the databases then we can see here then after database providers and products what are the familiar databases are available and how many vendors they are providing for us the database then sql what we need to learn in sql part that is uh, we are going to talk today it's completely related to this uh, significance and theoretical part only so monday one more demo is there we have a one more demo for on monday then complete practical implementation then i will show you how to interact with the database and all so before going to the session see here so i would like to introduce myself my name is ridha i have a total 10 years of experience in it i involved in different domains banking clinical airlines and waste management system 
that's all I involved. Different domains with uh, different databases like Oracle, SQL Server, MongoDB, Teradata. These are all databases I involved. So I have hands-on experience mode. That is my self brief. According to the teaching experience from past five years onwards, I'm taking this batches from representing the batches from Vene Technologies on SQL path. That is my self brief. Today, we'll see these are all topics which we are going to be covered under SQL part. First, before going to talk about SQL or before going to learn SQL part, complete significance and importance we should know about this SQL. So SQL is a mandatory skill it is. That doesn't matter what we are using or if you are using application or application means, see, SQL is for all. It's a mandatory skill. Once if you are well and good in SQL. You have to actually have you never been. Oh, be. Oh. So if you are well in SQL, then only we can easily manage your technology. The whatever technology it is, that doesn't matter. Or either it is a BI or application or anything else. For example, if you are application developer, means .NET export, .NET or a Java, PHP, Python, so Django. So all this, lot of languages, C, C++. So if your application export, must and should mandatory we require database knowledge is required sql is required or if you are a bi export means power bi informatica and adf msbi any tool any business intelligence tool must ensure database knowledge is required. Mandatory skill it is. And also in interviews, first of all, or definitely 10 minutes or a 10 to 15 minutes, they are going to be test your skills on database only, SQL part only especially. There is no skip here. Mandatory skill it is. We should learn SQL. If you are neglected now, then definitely then we have to face the problem in enterprise level once if you are entered into this enterprise. So application developers to load their data, BI developers to extract the data, so must and should we need to talk with databases. If you want to speak with the database, 
mandatory we required sql knowledge is required whatever role it is if you are a data scientist or a bi developer or etl developer or a reporter or application developer any role it is definitely we require the skill is called as sql part right well and good so in sql structured query language before going to talk about this sql we should know about these are all fundamentals what is mean by the data first of all see if the data is not presented anywhere else we don't record sql of course we don't require a application languages we don't require a bi language bi tools data is not there so organization don't want any employee definitely this is all depend on data only yes data loading data extracting and data reporting yes this is must and should before going to talk sql part we should know about first what is mean by the data and data formats then data storage where we can store our data first we will see what is mean by this data see this one data is the unit of information collection of information we call it as a data yes take any object in a world employee or else chair if you are saying something about a chair chair color model weight manufacturer what is this this is all data we are collected information about this object or for example if i am saying about a aadhar card we are saying about a aadhar card yes it is describing on person in a country number name location date of birth address everything yes this is the information about the person this was the information about person it is yes the information may be the collected information may be in a numerical format or else in a image video audio text any format it is aadhar number must and should for 109 crore of people 109 cr people we should enter the aadhar number should be in a numerical format only number format only name yes it should be in a character format only so all names should be in character no one is there with the numbers names all should be in character format yes daily we are taking selfies we know very well about that daily lot of selfies we are taking yes what is the meaning of this this is the image yes image is also the data it is describing something else today if we are taking selfie then after 2 years after 10 years then we can see so that time how we are 
how glamour we are, how beauty we are, then we can see now. Yes, this image is also describing something. That is also the data. It is in a format of image or a video. For example, we are taking some video today about a function or a marriage, anything. Yes, that is also the data. Today, if you are recorded the video, then we can see after two years, three years, and we can realize or we can recap this video. So on that day, on that day, what happened, then we can see. So this is mean by the data it is. All of you online guys, please provide your mail IDs and phone numbers under chat box. Along with phone number, please provide your mail IDs in a chat box. So to give you this recorded session along with fundamental documents. Right. See now, data is nothing but collection of information it is. Anything if we are saying anything about any object. So that is, we call it as a data. Maybe it is in numerical format, characters, video, audio. So any format it is. For example, so many examples then we can see. See one example here. In each and every city, in a signaling, we have a cameras. The government is going to be place the cameras. What this camera is doing, it's reading 24 by 7. Keep on its reading the signal. What is going on on the signal level? So what is going on in signal? It's reading. If, if something is happened or based on that signal, based on that signal, then they can watch anybody or jump the signals or anybody or crossing limitations. These are all they can watch by this camera. Or if something is wrong happened, yes, they can recap what happened there in a signal. That is also the data. 24 by 7, it's reading. Keep on, it's reading. That type of data, we call it as a streaming data. Streamed data, it is. Keep on, it's going to be read 24 by 7. Yes, this is, we call it as a data. Maybe it is in any format or other card, driving license, passport number. Our passport information, other information, driving license information, water information, PAN code information. Yes, this is all data it is. The government collected each and every person details. So in a different formats, numerical, character, date, image, video, audio. So in a different formats, they are collecting the information that is mean by the data it is. See, the data should be come under three categories. One is a structured data unstructured and semi-structural data. 
take any data in a world. The data should be come under these three categories. One is a structured. Structured means, yes, we can arrange the data in a tabular format. Means in a table format. Rows and columns. Is the data arranged in pure table format it is. For example, employee data or other data or driving license or passport number or PAN code it is. PAN ID. And name. And location. And date of birth. And PAN number. N number of records. All PAN cards should be in the same format. So each and every person PAN code information we can arrange in a one row, one record. N number of records. Keep on, we can store like this. This is called a structural data arrangement. This is, we are saying, is a structured data. We are arrange the data in pure a table format we are arranged. Pure in a table format we are arranged. Whatever data we are going to keep secure or keep store, then one format is structured format. And second format is unstructured formatted data. See here. For best example is all digital marketing sites. Take a Facebook. Take Facebook, Facebook account. We have here in Facebook 500 members of that. Friends, 500. Friends, if we are asking, are you, I have a friends, Facebook 500. If you are asking what they will post next hour, I can't say that. The why? Because maybe they can post audio, video, text. Yes, their wish. They have a right to post anything else. Means what happened here is frequently the data format is changing here. Frequently, the data format was changing. Sometimes it is coming in a text format. Sometimes it is coming in a video format. The format is changing. Whenever the data format is changing, we can't fix this data in a table format. Yes, PAN code ID. Yes, PAN code ID should be generated same format. Alpha numerical format only. It doesn't matter how many PAN cards are there. All PAN cards should be load or should be load in same format only. Or one more is there semi-structural data. Sometimes it is coming in a structured format. Sometimes it is coming in unstructured format. So whatever data in a world, yes, mandatory, it should come under these three categories. It should be come under all three categories only.
right all of you online guys please provide your mail ids along with phone number under chat box so in a chat box please give me your phone numbers and mobile number for mail ids and phone numbers okay right all of you what is data and data formats we are discussed okay fine well and good and what is my intention is i want to store my data i want to store the data here yes wherever we are storing our data that is we call it as a data storage area any data it is or if you are storing in your phone that is your st data storage area wherever we are storing our data that is called as so data storage area it is according to the system nowadays we have lot of storage areas of that we can store our data securely in lot of areas for example i want to store my employee data so all in my institution or else in my organization i want to store all employees details or employees data then i want to be stored here so why because because if we don't have a storage data storage or today what is going on if you are not storing yes what happened then we can't say what happened if you are unable to say then we can't say what needs to be happened all are correlated what is going on current data what happened previous data what needs to be happened so future data it is that is mean by the analysis today if you are not recording aadhar cards the government is not going to be recorded anywhere else then tomorrow they can't say how many people are staying in this city or in country they are not recorded anywhere else how they will say how many other cards how many people are staying in a country there is no record they can't say if they can't say that one so they can't analyze what needs to be happened how many other cards to link with the bank account they can't say that one so this is all data mandatory here data storage means current data what is going on yes ancient years also a 50 years or 100 years or 200 years back we don't have any machine we don't have a systems yes they are also they have a storage now it is archaeologists are saying yes 200 bc something is happened how they know before 200 bc something happened how they are saying yes they found some object or some rock in the rock so they found a script that script is explaining them or the object is explaining them what happened to 200 years bc yes that is a storage that is mean by this data storage but nowadays we can store our data any data if we are decided we can store in different ways securely years and years and years 
in a secured manner we can store our data in a systems whatever data it is employee data or else bank data clinical data airlines shipping or i have a small business is there or the best example why we need to store data see if it is a pani puri bandu all we know very well about this bandi pani puri bandu yes of course that is also the business right but it don't need to store anything else in a business level why very less number of transactions will happen he can remain by mind what is going on there how many people are coming daily so how much product is sold and this is all he can remain by mind all transaction what is going on and he can analyze by mind so what is going on in business but see take a bank in one branch in one city bank bank is also business and to remind by mind it's never ever possible it is so anybody can remind by mind it's never ever possible it is all transactions lot of transactions will happen in one day debits credits loan insurance policies lakhs of transaction will happen in one day in one city so it's never possible to remain by mind that is what they required some sort of storage is required they need to keep this data what app what is going on daily otherwise after one week after 10 days they can't say what happened in business level so in one branch in one city lakhs of transactions will happen throughout the city throughout the country throughout the world in one hour trillions of transactions will happen these are all transactions if they want to control it's a never ever possible by the manual process that is what according to the system they are storing the data wherever we are storing our data that is we call it as a data storage area two major areas are there to store our data see here one is files second one is databases according to system we can store our data in a file format or in a database format but first storage area is files only nowadays lot of files are there see doc document format pdf excel now jpg image format json xml like this lot of file formats are available as for example a cv resume then we we want to create 
how we'll create a resume either in a doc format or in a pdf format So we are go copy somewhere else and we are going to be load into our resume. We are going to be paste into PDF format or doc format. Yes, that is also the data. Complete our experience. It is going to be explained within two, three pages. Total overall five years, 10 years of experience. What we did so far complete we are going to be stored in a doc format once the recruiter is us then we are we, we are going to send the doc the document having the complete information about experience our work experience that's also the data we are storing in document format or somebody having small shop is there they want to load their data daily how many people are coming how many customers are coming what they are purchasing manually they can store in excel format and jpz pure image daily we are taking a lot of selfies so what format it is image format yes image is also the data it is describing something. So these are all formats we can store. These are all our file storages. But here both advantages, disadvantages, both are there. Advantages, we can store a data easily. Copy, paste. Simple. Somewhere else, then we can copy. The content. And we can paste it into. Our document. And file movement also one place to other place. If you want to move. Copy the file and just go and paste over there. File moving is also very easy. But disadvantage is, once if we store the data into the file, extraction is very difficult. Yes, 3000 pages PDF document is there. It was completely related to SQL subject. Now I am asking to find out uh, some topic. Manually, then we had to verify a lot of pages. So that and also relation, physical relation is very difficult and it's never possible it is to relate. Logically, we know, yes, this file and this file both are have a relation, but physically we cannot relate these two files. Physically, then we can't, we cannot relate these two files. Relation is not possible. So that they introduce the database systems, DBMS, database management systems, wherever we are going to be manage or maintain years and years of data in one place. So that is, we call it as a DBMS, Database Management Systems. So 
But these are all database systems or can store only structured data only. These are all are going to be support. Table or format or two dimensional or multi dimensional data only. Means it should be in a so rows and columns format like this only. Here also disadvantages, advantages, both are there. So first of all, what is mean by the database? It is an organized collection of data storage. It's a pure organized collection of Data, we call it as a database. Yes, employee data. Completely we are arranged, employee ID, name, location. So we are arranging in a tabular format. That is mean by the database. But if it is a database, data storage is not a simple. It's a very difficult. Slow down, then we have to load data into. Yes, it's why? Because it's in a pure formatted way. Yes, formatted way we had to load. But data extraction is very easy. Data load is difficult. And relations also possible. One table to other table to maintain a data. Valid data, if you want to maintain, then we can go and we can use this databases. See here, these are all databases out there organizations all our organization ibm oracle teradata microsoft snowflake mongodb mysql postgresql like our bikes so many bikes are available in market not only the single manufacturer Lot of manufacturers are available to provide so many bikes BMW, Hanley Davidson, Hyundai, Honda, Bajaj. They are all providing that their bikes, but bike is completely bike is completely product it is. Even though if it is BMW or Henley Davidson, all are bikes only. Active is also bike. So bike functionality won't be varied. Functionality is same. Bike functionality is same. Functionality won't be varied. Even though if you are a purchase BMW, it's not going to be fly. Road required. 
ഹോണ്ടായ് ഹോണ്ട യെസ് ഹോണ്ട ഷൈൻ ഹോണ്ട ആക്ടീവ ടു പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ്സ് ദർ പ്രൊ ടു ആർ ബൈക്ക്സ് ഓൺലി ബട്ട് വൈ സം പീപ്പിൾ ആർ പർച്ചേസിംഗ് ഹോണ്ട ആക്ടീവ സം പീപ്പിൾ ആർ പർച്ചേസിംഗ് ഹോണ്ട ഷൈൻ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ റിക്വയർമെന്റ് സെയിം വേ ദീസ് ആർ ഓൾ ആർ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻസ് and these are all products ibm see here ibm is providing for us cybase db2 netejo informix all our databases only as per our requirement which one is suitable for us then we have to purchase that one organizations will decide this oracle oracle database Terra Data, Microsoft Corporation is providing access SQL Server. Access and SQL Server it is. These two are databases, tools. Then Snowflake, MongoDB, MySQL, PostgreSQL. these are all our familiar databases nowadays not only this so many databases are available in market best example is somebody's requirement is he need to participate in racing and he purchase the activa how this guy is going to participate with activa in racing of course activa is a bike but it is not right back to participate in racing yes that is also the two wheeler of course so he need to purchase high end models sports models only but somebody's requirement is mileage he want to travel home to office office to home but he purchased a handley davidson bike or a bmw bike but how the bmw bike is going to be provide a mileage hardly for 3 4 kilometers only so then he need to select low end models same way here also enterprise will decide according to their requirement what database is required to store their data or if it is a bank lot of transactions will happen those many of transactions if they want to store keep on daily 24 by 7 business it is there is no stop so they need to select such a weight database to store huge transactions and that is a terra data or a oracle and one business is a very small business it is limited data daily 100 records or 200 records or 300 records and they are going for mysql or a mongo db why because limited data it is so based on the requirement the enterprise will decide which tool needs to be select here all our databases only just like as a bikes but some people or major people are going to use in a city activa honda activa then we can see lot of bikes why yes this activa bike is a suitable for the customers like that before going to select the product they will observe lot of aspects what are those those are all our cost mileage 
maintenance like that here also before going to purchase the license from the corporation they will absorb lot of aspects yes database cost maintenance performance load everything they will absorb then after they will purchase the tool okay fine we are purchased a database tool but if i want to say something to this database then what we required sql is required structured query language is required our database is not going to be understood our telugu language english hindi if you want to say anything else upload data update data delete data anything if you want to speak then we required sql part is required structured query language is required so initially they call it as a sql it is introduced by this ibm corporation in 1970s to speak with all these databases yes it just like as a driving if i know the driving or if you know the driving then we can use all bikes so far we are using i am using pulsar tomorrow then i want to be purchase royal enfield driving is not going to be vary environment will vary heavy bike royal enfield double engine more cc more weight but remaining are all are same driving is same so there is no pulsar driving royal enfield driving on active driving bullet driving driving is driving only same way sql is a common language for to speak with all databases functionality if you know then we can go and we can work with yes driving perfectly we know then we can drive any bike but little bit of difficulty one week two weeks will face the later then we'll go with that bike also same way here also if we know sql properly or if we learn sql properly then we can interact with oracle sybase microsoft access ingress to other data so sql is a structured query language to interact with all databases these are all for example we learn sql with microsoft sql server once after learn sql with microsoft sql server then we can work with oracle also and we can work with uh, access also or a sybase also same sql part on best example before learn this bike we are going to be select a comfort bike with that bike we we'll learn the driving then after then we go for so in real world the bikes then we will select same way here also all of you online guys please provide your mails and phone numbers in chat box okay right so this course is going to be cover in deep of all these topics so you know it will take around 30 to 35 hours daily one hour session monday to friday and saturday so depends i will give you saturdays 
more exercises or practicals for your practice. And after this completion of this course, I will explain a project also to nearly real time project. I will explain. Then after, and if you want resume preparations, I will help on that resume preparations. So we are going to be provide here complete in deep of materials, live video sessions after the completion of this course, means uh, daily. Once uh, after completion of the class, you will get this class video also to recap this subject. And more practical scenarios than I will provide you on this SQL level for each and every topic. And finally, then I will give you FAQs in, for interviews, to crack the interviews. This is more than enough for four or five years of exports. 90% then you can answer the questions, 90%. You can answer the questions, direct questions from this document. If you practice well. And these are all are going to be covered here with the TSQL and SQL in deep. I will share with you that uh, content on all to your mail IDs. Who are provided a mail IDs? I will share with you. These are all uh, to your mail IDs within one hour. Content, this video session I will share with you. So this is the way then we are going to be covered. Monday, we have a second demo. Same time, fixed timing. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And practically then I will show you how we have to interact. Today we are discussed about just only the significance. What is mean by the database? How we need to store the data in database? What kind of databases are available? How to interact? Which language we required for this? That is all we had discussed today. Monday, second demo, practical implementation, then I will show you. If you have any queries, please raise your queries 